What's up, B? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Game Boy and Game Boy Color games on your iOS device. The application we'll be using to do this is Gameplay Color. However, it isn't really an application, it's a web app, but its amazing interface and offline support makes it feel like an application similar to the popular GBA for iOS. Gameplay Color was created by In7 and is free of charge, however, the developer does accept donations if you feel like paying something. Finally, remember that this tutorial is for educational purposes only, and I hope you all are excited to learn how to do this on your iOS device. If so, click that like button and let's try to reach 500 likes for this amazing tutorial. Now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, doing this is very simple, however you will need two applications before we begin. So quickly head to your app store, and the first application that we will be installing is Google Drive, as this will be the location where you will store your ROMs. Now, once you have Google Drive, it looks like this, we're going to get another application called iDownloader. iDownloader will be the application that we'll be using to extract our ROMs from the zip files that they come in and iDownloader looks like so and you can simply install it quickly both of these applications are free so you don't have to worry about paying anything now that we have these two applications we're going to open google drive and make sure that you sign in using one of your google accounts i'm sure you guys have at least one of them if not you can quickly create a google account by opening the application and following the steps now that you're signed into your google drive account we can learn how to get the gameplay application or web app by simply opening Safari and typing in the URL GameplayColor.com. Now upon arriving at the site, you want to scroll down and select Play Now. And once you click on Play Now, it'll instruct you to add the web app to your home screen by clicking the share button, which is the square with the arrow on it, and then selecting Add to Home Screen, and then Add. I'm going to click Cancel since I already have it, but once you add this web app to your home screen, it looks like so you can go ahead and open it. And once you open it, it'll ask you to sign into your Google Drive account and make sure you sign in using the one that you signed into on the Google Drive application. And you most likely will not be playing a game. I'm playing a game since I already have the application, but it'll tell you to tap on the screen to get to another screen like so, and it should be empty if you don't have any ROMs yet. However, we're going to learn how to get the ROMs or games by opening iDownloader and selecting browser at the bottom left hand corner and in the URL section you're going to type in freeroms.com. This will be the website that we'll be using to get our Game Boy or Game Boy Color ROMs. Now remember to only download games that you owned in the past. Now quickly zoom in and select Game Boy slash Color and now you can browse by letter most votes highest rated or most popular i'm going to click most votes for instructional purposes and download pokemon red now once you click on the game you would like to download you may get an obnoxious advertisement like so you can exit out of it once you wait five seconds and you're going to click on direct download and then download and then save at the top right this will quickly down your, download your file as game boy and game boy color games aren't too big and when you click on the files tab in the bottom center you will see your zip file there click on it select extract you'll get a folder and then here you'll find your rom for example you can see i have pocket monsters red there and i'm going to select open in and then open in google drive and then select upload so that i can upload this file to my google drive and it should upload pretty quickly but this all depends on your internet connection and now I can see that I have my Pocket Monsters Red application or ROM, I'm sorry. And you can actually change the name, which I recommend you do, to whatever you like. The Pocket Monsters Red is the Japanese name, so I'd like to name it to Pokemon Red so that it can easily identify it um, within the gameplay color application. And it's just something that I like to do to stay neat, but this is not mandatory. You don't have to change the name if you don't want to. But once you're done renaming it, you can head home and open your gameplay color application or web app and you can tap on the screen and then select the game that you would like to play, whichever the game that you downloaded, click on it and then it'll start playing on the main screen, taking you back there, it'll load and start just like that and now you're playing 
some classic Game Boy or Game Boy Color games on your iOS device. And remember that once you download a game, you can play it offline, let's say in airplane mode, for example. So that's really cool about this application. And if you'd like to donate to the development, you can click on Say Thanks and donate whatever amount that you like. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please leave a like as it helps out the tutorial immensely, as well as share the video with your friends and let them know how they can play their favorite childhood Game Boy and Game Boy Color games on their iOS device like you are now. And finally, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, I highly recommend that you do so to be notified whenever I upload a video, because I upload iOS tutorials like this one every week. Anyways, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.